Okay, YouTubers, we just put in a fuel pump and the fuse was bad, so therefore we now coding it right here. There's a coding file detected. And DTEC, we click DTEC CAF for software unity. So we are coding that now. This is the fuel pump module, it didn't communicate, so it was a fuse, not a 20 amps fuse was blown in the rear distribution box. And um, I'm writing the coding data to it now, so it's almost finished. There it goes, finish. Without errors, there's it right there, boom. Oh. Just go with that. So we're going to um, going to read out VCM again by clicking here. Should become black, and there it goes. Should be able to start car now. Okay, cool. Yeah, it communicates now. Okay. Yeah, come. Yeah, Look, I'm coming. Uno, dos, tres, finito. Yeah. yeah. I'm promotional, man. Yeah, this communicates now. <laughs> I boy say I'm professional in the easy you now fuck them can boss. Alright, we're gonna click on this right here and then click recording data and it's supposed to pull up the VIN. And there's the VIN there for the car. That's it. Alright, show zero errors right there for the read of the coding data. We'll just click close here. Just gonna let the battery charge up and so on and so forth. Let's just go on this side here. The battery is 11.8 right there, so we have to just wait until we um We are charging up right now, the battery is kind of low. Alright, boom. Alright. We have our battery engine start right here. Set on this. And, um, we're gonna try and start car now. Turn off the headlight, give us some more juice. Alright, start now. Alright, engine running now, fuel pump is going good. It just has a, we had a blown fuse in the back of the rear distribution box that supplied it, so. Alright now, car running. Got a smoke burning off, looking like it's leaking oil. Hey, is this the oil leak, right? Yeah. It'll go back. Well, this car hasn't been running for four years. Oh, so this is First oil. First time it's running, yeah. So it has oil. Let it run 10 minutes, it's gonna be good. Okay, 10 minutes, okay. This car doesn't run in four years. We bought this at an auction. At least Charlie there buy it. Come to program the fuel pump and program the left headlight, right model, LED headlight model. So you gotta do the steering and then see why the parking brake light is on for see if the module is the EMF on, right? He probably the guy probably changed that module too. It may need to be reprogrammed. There are three models here that does that has different VIN. Okay, let, so let me show you. Let me show you on this. Tell me which one. Active steering on address 16. Active steering, let me show you. Okay, active steering, I know. That's how the steering light is on. What else? Wait, I'm going I'm gonna show you. Wait, let me um oh, fuck. Right here. 
on Easter D screen. I'm going control unit three. This one right here on address 16. That one, ASA? Right, that I know, active steering. That one has different VIN on, e on this one. They gotta be with the program. Vein. What yes. else? And then this one, this one has different VIN. HSR, um, rear axle oh, slip on the yeah. control. That, that one, one you gotta program. What else? And, um, well, we saw this now, this is okay. And this is it right well, here. It's red now, why is it red? We don't read it out yet again. Oh, you gotta reread it. With okay. Easter, we have, to read, we have to do a week of test. What Easter. is the third mod? Is it different? Yeah, I'm gonna show you where. Just wait, be patient. Be patient. I'm read out coding data again, okay? When read out coding data, it pops up the VIN out of each module. Whatever see that? it is, man, take care. Of it. Okay, I'm going inside. You're running away, man. I'm just showing you some, bro. I got the paperwork. Come here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I see the steering and the traction light. You yeah, see the ASA active steering? This is one. Right. That has to be fixed. The EPS. That is active. Uh, yes, that's active how the light is on. Okay. What that, is the airbag light is on. The airbag light is on. Yeah. I think these, these gotta be uh, calibrated. Yeah, I will do that. Modules. I will do that. I program the airbag and I lock it, so it should be off. Whatever it is, you'll see. Oh, the airbag light is on because there's a C contact right here, low resistance. There's okay. a low resistance. One of these driver belts, C contact. I see that fault code in this study. As long as no programming shaft. BMW are shake. BMW are shake. Your front, look front of the door. It's a shake. Look at the bonnet, look at the wood. Look at the car, shaking like a bitch. HSR right here, it has different VIN number, where is it? HSR, I just saw it. Right here at the bottom, different VIN number. Looking for a different veneer on this thing. It's no finish. Close that. Just looking for the mismatch. It's like two control models have different VIN number. The active steering on address 16 right here. And then we have um This is the fuel pump now running. It has the right VIN number in it for the car. No coded. Doing well. Car is running and shaking. Like a woman coming. <laughs> EMF here working. And, um, the EPS. This light right here. Active steering, that one, that symbol right there. That steering wheel symbol, we're gonna sort that out. But the um, oh, the car stop shake now. Oh, it's running smoother now. Stop shaking now. Ah, uh, all right. Let us go down and scroll some more. Look, I'm looking for a mismatch VIN. There's another control, there's two control models that has different VIN in it. This one, the HSR, that one, and the ASA are the active steering, otherwise called AL. Those are the only two I don't see anymore.
I don't see any Mitsubishi pin number. This is. I needed the FSC codes to activate this one right here. That is okay. Boom, boom, boom. And we did this. The headlight, the I beam headlight, not working on this one, but the, the LED lights does work. That has to be the the I beam has to be sorted out. Oh, the car shake again, <laughs> like a rocking dolly. <laughs> I don't see any other mismatch in here. Bomba, Kara. It's a shake worse than all. The RPM will drop, you see that? The RPM will drop. Kara shake worse than all. I'm gonna use ESIS and I'm going to. um. Read out the car vehicle data. Release icon. Come on, release. Release. All right, good. Sure. I'm going to try to establish connection again. Do a vehicle test. It's going to take about perhaps an hour. I don't know. 